Good morning. It's about 6.20 a.m. and I'm up because today is back to school. I absolutely love the kids, but it's been a long summer. It still feels like, why is it hot in here in the morning? And I have a vent right there with the air blowing. I'm still so hot, I don't know. All right, I'm up. I know there's coffee, coffee for breakfast. Look at this, this lighting so weird. I have, I never, I've never vlogged this time of day. You're back to school, morning sip, Simba. Today's back to school day. You getting your sips? Come on. Let's see what you're doing. Wow. Boys. Simba, did you kick him out of his spot? What'd you do? Simba. I still haven't eaten yet. It's 11.07. Nope, 11.08. I just finished editing what I ate over Labor Day and really just relaxing. I mean, I have the house to myself this morning. This never happens or hasn't happened since, I mean, it's, it's been a long summer and I've been really enjoying it, but now <laughs> I miss the kids and I can't wait for them to come home. They should be home in about an hour and a half. I wanted to do some meal prep while I had the kitchen to myself. I did none of that <laughs> and now, <laughs> And now I want the kids to come back home. Oh, I do look for, I am gonna meal prep. I promise, tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> well, this is not gonna be an Amber Lynn, I will. All right, finally some oatmeal with a banana. That and some coconut sugar. Even some brown rice for later. And it's 12, 16. <laughs> it took a while, but here I am. All right, it's almost one o'clock now. Now I got a plum and I was thinking, I really do eat a lot of fruit, don't I? I just, have, I feel like I'm usually like, oh, I don't like fruit. Mm -mm. No, 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 yeah, I do. I, I edit these vlogs. I see I eat a, a lot of it, so that's fine. All right, <clears throat> good morning. It is 7.31 a.m. I've been awake since 5 a.m. because the kids getting ready for school so early because they're excited, which is great, but I've been awake, though I haven't coffeeed or anything yet. I'm, not used to the school nonsense yet. Now, I was just looking at my footage from yesterday and I have pretty much nothing. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna combine two days worth of vlogs because I don't know, that one was, I failed and had pizza for dinner again because the kids have it a lot and whenever it's browned, I have a hard time saying no. <laughs> So I had a piece of pizza without cheese for dinner and then I didn't eat anything else. And now it's the morning, so Good morning. Getting your sippies. Oh, you must have been thirsty. He jumps right up on here as soon as I walked in here to get coffee. This is the only time you drink anymore. It's not good. Can I do it? I sure can. Still at it, huh? You thirsty? Simba. Alright, I think it's uh finally time to eat. What is it? Oh gosh, it's 11.02 already. <laughs> Is that Neely? He's sleeping on his bed. He's a good boy. And what am I gonna eat? All right, so breakfast is going to be this again, I think, because this cereal was so good and it was so filling. Barber, upon closer inspection, this cereal does have more sugar than I would probably should be eating. So I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. However, this is amazing with this little bit of fruit filling inside each one. Oh my god it's so good i love having the banana when it's spotty like this because this is when it's really sweet you know what i want to show you guys the uh one of the tomato plants because and then i will actually eat i probably i feel like i never eat but i sure do Ooh, it is muggy it is going to storm today that much i know all right, well, this one's not producing fruit, you guys know. Definitely not producing fruit. This basil tastes delicious, even though the, it's all messed up. I wanted to show you this one because look at all the cherries that are still growing on it. Look, it exploded. Boy, this one is doing great. I can't wait to eat all of these. 
I mean, look at all these. This bush just won't quit. It's amazing. This, look at all these. Oh my God, this is more than we got like over the summer when the other, when the other two plants were producing fruit. Look at, oh my God, I am dying. I'm so happy. I can't wait to eat these. All right, this is just brown rice and corn. It's some cilantro. I have some people that follow this that hate cilantro, so this one is for you. I'll admit I was a little inspired to make this by none other than Amberlynn Reed because I just watched a, um, a retro video of hers where she was talking about brown rice and corn and how she wishes she could eat it, but it's unhealthy. I, I don't know. All I know is that I'm eating as much of it as I want right now. All right, it is 6.08 p.m. I actually did eat and I forgot to record it. There's a little bit of pizza from yesterday left over, so I had a piece without the cheese or anything on it. I'd scraped off the top, just had the crust, which is weird, but I love that. It, it was Sicilian, it was delicious. But now I'm like really full from, I had that a few hours ago and uh, yeah, I gotta stop eating that. Obviously in the future, um, pizza is just a food I'm gonna have to say no to because I have a hard time not with it. So I'm not gonna mess around with pizza anymore, I promise. You, you won't see it on this channel again. And I wanna tell you guys a secret. So you, got, you guys know I have MS, right? A lot of times when I take a shower, like I obviously just did, showers just totally wipe me out. I mean, I'm just sitting here wanting to fall asleep. Just, oh God, showers make me so tired sometimes. I like wobbled out of the bathroom and now I'm sitting on my bed and I'm dead. Hopefully, hopefully I get changed soon. 8.25 p.m. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more of this again. What a fail. It's not a good day at all. Ugh. All right. Another one of those days mm -mm -mm. filled with yummy fruit. Good morning. It is the 5th. It's 8.18 a.m. 8.18 a.m. <laughs> now the mornings are different because now it's school's back. So I used to, oh my God, I used to love the morning. I loved the morning. I had the morning alone. It was cozy. And well, you guys saw my mornings. I would vlog them all the time. But now it's like chaotic and I, I honestly, the mornings I just stay in bed while my, my sister's doing all that and I'm, yeah, no. So they just left. So I think I'll finally get things going and get some coffee. All right, it is 10.37 a.m. and I'm eating this again. I think I've eaten this for the past three meals now. Got that Kashi shredded wheat cereal, slice of banana, almond milk. This is so... Mm, 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 mm. I, okay, it's 1.39 and I just saw on YouTube a way to make mashed potatoes without, you know, I don't use oil or butter or milk, you know, none of that. So it'll make it, it'll make it fluffier. So fo follow along with me. I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. This could come out terrible. This could be stupid and a waste of time. Let's find out together. All right, first step, I scrubs these pretty good. I'm not peeling them because I, I love potato skin. So I'm just gonna cut these small and then I'm gonna put them in this water I'm boiling. All right, well, these look pretty terrible because whatever, I'm just gonna mash it up, right? I mean, I don't know. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. No idea what I'm doing. Either way, I'll, I'll have mashed potatoes of some sort, which I, I love them. All right, it's been boiling for like 15 minutes. And now what I'm gonna try to do is pour that, I uh, strain it, and then leave some water at the bottom, like half an inch. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this. I mean, this is terrifying. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try to record me doing this, but I'll, yeah. Right, so I managed to save absolutely none of that water. It was my mom's idea. I should have ladled it out before I tried straining it. But I microwaved a little potato with some water and hopefully that'll make the water starchy. I don't know. And here's the rest of it. I'm gonna mix it up. Some garlic, onion powder, some parsley. Pooch too. Let's see. All right, so here's the product after, okay, the hand mixer doesn't work. I, I got it started, but then we just, I don't know, moved on to the masher. And this came out really good. I just added um, salt and pepper to it. I put this into a Pyrex and then I'll add a uh, parsley. Doesn't look bad, huh? Mm. I gotta make that golden gravy to go with this. All right, I ate like uh, half of this. That was so good. Uh, I cannot wait to make gravy for this. All right, it's like three o'clock now. 
I don't feel like doing it now. The kids are gonna be home soon and blah, blah, blah. But I will make it tomorrow. I promise. You better drink it. Oh, come on, Simba. Are you gonna take a sip? No. That was close. not sponsored. <laughs> all right, I, ugh, my hair, she's, <laughs> I don't know what's up with today, but all, pretty much all I want is potatoes. I had those mashed potatoes and I just want more potatoes. I mean, I'm thinking of other potato things I can make and I'm getting excited thinking about potatoes. <laughs> it's just one of those days. I think what I'm gonna do, hear me out. I'm gonna take those leftover mashed potatoes and I'm gonna put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper and then we're gonna bake them at a high temperature and make like a potato pancake. This is what potatoes do to you people, okay? Proceed with caution. Have a potato if you think you can handle it. I, don't, don't say I didn't warn you. They're addictive. All right, so I took uh, the leftover and I flattened it to like pancakes. Now I'm gonna try baking it at 450 for a while. And we'll say, and look, and I got some I can enjoy later. Yum. All right, it's 517 and I got a plum. Obsessed, this was my, the last one, so. All right, so what I did was, <laughs> well, you saw what I did. I, I made like potato pancake things and I baked them at 425 for 20, pro probably 35-ish minutes, 35 or 40 minutes. And now they're, I mean, they're kind of like, I don't know. I'll show you them on the plate. All right, these were very hard to spatula off that thing. So I recommend making much smaller and thinner ones. They've got a nice like little kind of golden crust dish and oh, it's just some, some ketchup. I mean, how bad could they be? These look delicious. So good. Oh my God, this is so tasty. What? Is there a problem, sir? What do you want? Really? Nope, sorry. What is it about this ketchup? That's so amazing. Like, this is so good. And I was looking at the ingredients because I can't figure it out. And I don't know, maybe it's the cane sugar because I'm not having a lot of that these days. But you know, maybe it's the clove, allspice, all I don't know. What that, whatever that is, this ketchup is amazing. Like I'm never buying any other ketchup ever.